U.S. Marines arrive in Jordan for this year's Eager Lion exercises. Involving 4,500 U.S. military personnel, 3,000 Jordanians, and 500 from other countries. The exercise is taking place against the backdrop of growing concern over the war in Syria. The eager lion, however, is not in search of prey, insists Major General Robert Catalanotti, commander of U.S. forces taking part in the exercise. We have not in this exercise identified any adverse, uh, adversary. Um, we have looked at it as any country could be an adversary and to be prepared for contingency planning. These contingencies include a massive influx of even more refugees, chemical attacks and urban unrest. American F-16 fighter jets and Patriot missile batteries are part of the exercise and at Jordan's request will remain behind. But why no mention of Syria? Because everybody knows that saying the word Syria now has a price, and especially Jordan, that knows perfectly that Jordan will be the first to pay the price. The real worry, the violence in Syria could spark something much bigger. We are talking about a new war that might be a real bloody war, and it might have also an expansion in the whole region and elsewhere. King Abdullah, speaking at a graduation ceremony at a military academy, did mention Syria and hinted Jordan is worried. If the world doesn't move in this regard as it should, he said, or if this becomes a threat to our country, we are able at any moment to take measures to protect our country and its people's interests. Daoud Ansara did a brisk business in textiles from Syria for more than 30 years. Now he's just selling off old stock. He wishes for better days but leaves it up to the king to try to steer Jordan through this latest crisis. Abdullah is our king and he's responsible for all that, Dode tells me. Whatever he decides, we're behind him. <laughs> Hoping Jordan will weather this storm as it has so many others before, with a bit of help from its friends. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Amman.